Okay, a second print going on here. Only appropriate that we uh, print a replacement for this Y end stop, which as you can see is adjusted way far in there, and that still was not enough to keep the uh, tray from running into the, uh, the Y end of the printer over here, so the end stop wasn't functional. But one of the guys on Thingiverse designed this nice replacement, adjustable, should have enough uh, adjustment to uh, work okay, we'll see. I think so. And for now, I've got a little uh, rubber foot stuck uh, underneath there that hits the Y end stop. With this thing in place, I shouldn't need no little rubber foot which is going to fall off any time now anyhow. So the printer working quite well after zeroing the Z, getting that uh, with a sheet of paper on there all the way across in each direction. I'm guessing the next uh, problem will probably be these threads on the Z side, these, these threaded rods. I'm going to guess that, that the tubing coupling with the Z motors here is probably not the best. I'm going to guess that'll slip from time to time. Also, the Z stop designed in here. Just this screw going through this wood right here. That should probably go through something a little more adjustable, maybe a uh, spring tension or something like that. There's a guy on Thingiverse made a little bracket that fits over there with a spring, so might give that a try also. And something else can be printed just for fun, so it's fairly small. Anyhow, things working quite well. I did notice occasionally we get uh, garbled LCD output, but we're still functioning fine. I can monitor everything through a uh, printer face and laptop right now for temperatures and all that. But it takes a full uh, reset of the ramps board to get that LCD back. I don't know if that's a noise issue or power fluctuations. I'm getting thunderstorm activity right now. But we'll see over time. Anyway, the Maker Farm Prusa i3 working quite well at this point. <laughs>